Hello, this is Chris from cricketusers.com. Uh, basically, what we have here is our gingerbread uh, droid razor. Uh, we heard about the uh, leak, supposedly the over-the-air update for this device to ice cream sandwich is supposed to come out on the 4th of this month, but if you can't uh, wait, uh, just follow the instructions that we post on our forum and follow along with the video. Basically what I'm showing you here is that we already have uh, super user uh, root permissions and everything on our Razer. Uh, I did decide to uh, make a full backup using titanium backup. There's also a program that you should install called Voodoo OTA Root Keeper, or you might see it in the uh, in Google Play Store as just OTA Root Keeper. Um, what you're going to want to do is hit Protect Root. This is the screen that you'll see when you first install it, and then this is the screen you'll see after you've made that backup. All the links to the files you need are on our forum, so you can browse that from your mobile device and download the applications. Here's the system version that we're on right there. You'll need to download this app called Cheesecake uh, V2. This is version 2 of this app. The link for the download is to Mediafire. So you're going to want to go ahead and install Cheesecake. Make sure that you're allowed to install applications from unknown locations. That's under Settings and then Applications. Here I show you where that is, in case you didn't have it checked already. So then we go into the application and you're going to want to uh, click to create proper files first. We were having a problem with the responsiveness uh, right here. Give it super user permissions. Pretty much it just seemed like it it hung on this, but it was just uh, real slow. Um, we had already clicked it and said everything was good, so then we initialized a uh, reboot. So go back into Cheesecake and then click to change server. Again, we were having a little problem with the responsiveness here. You might not want to click it too many times. I think it was just hanging. And then it comes with this uh, because I came up with that because I clicked check for updates and we hadn't changed our uh, update server yet. Alright, now this is uh, what happens. It comes up with this thing called Cloud Picker. You go choose Staging. And then master hyphen sdc one hundred dot blur dev dot com now a lot of people had uh little hang ups right here as well as soon as I click that it said updates are available. you can see right there, but that was actually the Google play, so you don't want to hit check for updates right here and then this pops up that you have to have a Motorola account. So I click setup and it hung on this for a while and it timed out a few times. All right, right here you see the update is uh, available. I repeat this process over and over again until it finally connected and I hit download you can see right here the uh, download has started. 
I did this over Wi-Fi and it still uh, took quite a while. Alright, now you can see it's at 100% and verifying the update. This takes a few moments as well. Under that was the install update and I clicked install now. The device then powers itself off. And then it boots itself into its own little recovery and begins the actual update on the device. And of course this takes a lot of time as well. Alright, after it completes that, the little bar goes away and it begins to reboot. As you can see, the initial boot does take a while. Alright, here's the Android is upgrading screen. We did not wipe the device. It's actually optimizing the applications that we already had installed on the device and preparing them to be able to run on Ice Cream Sandwich. One thing I am going to note is that we later did do a factory reset of the device. Uh, we couldn't open up our camera application. In hindsight, we should have tried to go to uh, settings, applications, and clear out the data for that app. Um, there's a good possibility that that would have fixed it. Um, other people were mentioning that they had experienced uh, general lagginess as well. Um, that's something we experienced. So we just decided to completely start over. We did have the uh, applications and data backed up using titanium backup as we showed you earlier in the video. Okay. Now, this is what ICS looks like on the Droid Razor. Booted into ICS for the first time. At this point, the device really hasn't uh, settled. There's a lot going on at the moment. It's trying to reconfigure uh, everything based on the applications that we already had installed and the data on the device. So because there's a lot going on, you get problems like this, the uh, little force close error. There was a second person, I don't have three hands. As you can see when I went to my app drawer for the first time, not many of the apps uh, were showing up. This is because like I said, the device has not settled yet. Just trying to give you guys a brief uh, tour what you'll expect with a Droid Razor, Droid 4, uh, Droid Razor Max on Ice Cream Sandwich. I wasn't that uh, big of a fan of Ice Cream Sandwich uh, initially but the uh, layout actually looks real clean here and I'm glad that I was able to keep my uh, hardware capacitive touch keys at the bottom. I like having a menu button and a search button. My search button is uh, mapped to some other actions as well so it provides me with uh, more options. Later on, I did install Apex Launcher. I used Titanium Backup to turn that into a system app so you can drag the widgets from that onto the new Apex Launcher home screen. With uh, Apex Launcher, uh, the icons at the very bottom, the phone, people, go SMS, camera, those were all smaller. I had more room up top. Plus, Apex Launcher has the option 
to tilt the home screen in uh, landscape mode. Uh, it's good when you're laying down and you don't want to keep on turning your device. But overall, if you've seen a Galaxy Nexus with ice cream sandwich or anything else, it should look uh, very familiar. See, I finally get the update status uh, notification at this point. So it's possible that the operating system was uh, still making some changes up to that point. I can explain some of the lagginess. Uh, Google Voice looks uh, a lot nicer. Uh, Gmail as well. So overall, I'm I'm really happy with the uh, the leaked version. It appears to have uh, worked very well. I'm sure if there are any changes with the over-the-air version uh, released possibly later this week, I'll be able to uh, update this device to that. With root access and titanium backup, you can always, uh, always restore your applications. So wiping your device doesn't become a huge issue. You can see how you can swipe left or swipe right the uh, notifications. I actually wasn't able to go back into uh, Cheesecake and change the update server, so we'll see how that plays out uh, after the over-the-air update arrives. I did plug the device into my computer and one thing which is really nice is that it can still be connected as a mass uh, storage device. This is something that is not available on the Nexus it appears. Uh, it only allows you to connect it as a media device or MTP. I don't like that. I don't like how the file transfer process uh, works when you're connected like that. I almost forgot to show how to uh, restore root. Here you'll see uh, Voodoo o OTA. Super user shows that it has everything, but it it's not actually restored and functional uh, yet. Just go back into Voodoo OTA and you'll see restore uh, root. So just click that. It restores it and then <laughs> it's really that simple. There's your root access. You've got it back. So for more information on this and more, please visit our forum at cricketusers.com. Uh, like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash cricketusers and subscribe to our YouTube channel.